we're going to remove the internal cover now that that has been removed we are now removing the thrust bearing and we are going to reposition the center cartridge in the vise Now that we are repositioning the center cartridge and device, the next step is to use a special tool, which is a specific tool for this specific turbo. And this helps ensure the proper depth of the VGT actuator gear shaft compared to the housing. Also, we are gonna check for proper and full range motion of this gear. The next step is to loosen the VGT shaft clamp, as you can see here. And once that is loose enough, we're going to remove the VGT shaft. As you can see, there's a VGT shaft seal, which isn't looking too good. And the next thing we're going to do is remove the VGT fulcrum lever. The next step is to push down on the two VGT shafts, which are actually going to push the veins out of the bottom side. And now we have a bird's eye view of what this little thing looks like. Now it is time to remove the turbine shaft from the housing. And now you can see what the remainder of the turbine vanes look like. And that's the compression ring. That is what seals the turbine shaft to the housing. The next step is to remove the turbine shaft bearings from the housing. First thing is to remove the snap ring which holds it in place in order to facilitate removal of the shaft bearing. Now it is time to remove the turbine shaft bearing from the intake compressor side of the turbo housing, which is essentially the same thing as we just did on the exhaust portion. Just so you can see here, these are a few different intake compressor turbine wheels. Naturally these two have been cleaned right before the next stage which is proper balancing and then reassembly. Right here is a compressor wheel that has just come out of a turbo that has not been cleaned. These are the matching halves which are the exhaust turbine sides of the turbo. These two have been cleaned naturally, and this one has not. After you have everything cleaned up, the next part to the puzzle is to reassemble everything with all the necessary new parts, and then take it to the balance machine to properly balance the turbo. So now we're gonna put on the thrust washer and then the thrust bearing, and then after that, we're gonna put on the intake compressor wheel and tighten down the turbine nut.
And yes, this looks a whole lot easier said than done. And as should be done with anything that you're reassembling, you should find the proper torque spec and torque the nut down appropriately. In this particular case, the torque spec is 120 inch-pounds and we are going to use an electronic torque wrench to achieve that.